The periodic table is organized into columns, which are also referred to as groups or families. The families usually have a name associated with them. Lithium through francium, for example, is the alkali metal family. Fluorine through astatine is the halogen family. It also organizes the elements in rows or periods. And these are uh, analogous structure-wise to the different energy levels within the atom. The periodic table is a useful tool to us because the, the placement of the elements can communicate something about uh, their properties or characteristics. For instance, all of the elements that are found to the left side of this stair-step line all right, are known as uh, metals. All right? So all of these elements would be considered metallic elements, including the two rows down beneath. Um, the elements that are found to the right of that stair-step line and including hydrogen as well are considered non-metallic elements and all of these elements uh, that are along that stair-step line um, boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium, polonium are considered metalloids and their properties are sort of in between those of metals and non-metals. Some periodic tables are also color-coded to indicate the uh, state of matter that the element is normally in under usual conditions, room temperature conditions. And on this particular periodic table, element symbols that are in solid black indicate elements that are in a solid state under normal room temperature conditions. The uh, elements that are listed in red are gaseous elements under normal conditions. And the ones that are in blue uh, represent elements that are normally liquids at room temperature. And there are only two of those, uh, bromine, a non-metal, and mercury, uh, metal. You'll also notice that there are some elements on the periodic table that are um, kind of outlined letters. And mostly you find them uh, from uranium on up, um, so in the bottom row of the periodic table as well. And you also have technetium and promethium. And these elements are known as synthetics. Uh, synthetic elements do not occur naturally. They are only the byproduct of either a nuclear reaction or using a particle accelerator to smash smaller nuclei together to get them to create a larger nucleus. Um, and so they are only created artificially in a laboratory. All of the other element symbols, regardless of which state of matter they're in, solid, liquid, or gas, if their element symbol is solid and not just an outline, then it is a naturally occurring element.